Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back. So as usual, don't forget to go to smartfinder.com because we have useful information there. And well, I'm so excited today as usual. I always say the same thing. So yeah, I'm going to teach you another way to do multiplication. And this way is more sophisticated. Um, so as usual, that data, that text, data for data, text for instructions. I'm not going to use uh, that data because I don't want to um, get any values from memory. I don't want to store any values in random access memory. So I'm just going to use the registers. They're faster, right? So um, I want to store the values to multiply into registers. So let's say um, at immediate, dollar sign T0, dollar sign 0, comma, let's say 20,000. Or let's say 2000. So now t0 has the value of 2000 because 0 plus 2000 is 2000 and the result is going to be stored in t0. So now I need another value. Let's say at immediate, the sign t1, the sign 0, and here let's say I want to multiply by 10. You know, because I know my little trick, I know that 2,000 times 10 is going to be 20,000. Anyways, um, yeah. So last time, I told you that you could use um, MUL for multiplication. But now I want to show you MULT for multiplication. So we're going to say MULT, right? MULT, which is multiplication. And it takes two registers. You can see T1 and T2, I mean any registers, two registers. So the first number is in T0. So I'm going to say uh, T0. And the second number, which is 10, is stored in T1. So I say T1. And that's it. OK, so now pay attention here. Now this is doing the multiplication for you. So T0 times T1. But what's the product? What's the product? I don't know where it is. Okay, let me show you where it is. If you come down here, right? Down here, you have two registers. They're special. They're called low and high. And low and high, well, when you do multiplication in this way, the result is going to be in low and high. But you say, wow, two registers. Why two registers? Well, because in this case, you can multiply numbers that are bigger uh, if you have two numbers and both of them are at, and both of them are bigger than 16 bits then you can do the multiplication here but in that case because they're bigger um, they're going to be stored in two registers the, the product is going to be stored in two registers so um, this is like an improvement over the other multiplication uh, instruction so how do you get it how do you get the result from from these two registers okay because 2,000 time, times 10 is 20,000. You know that you can use it. You can just get a value in one register. So you can just do one new instruction. Move from low. And move from low is going to get a value from this register low right here, which is the multiplication. And it's going to store it in the register that you specify. So let's say I want to move the product to register dollar sign as zero. So now, this right here, these two lines, um, they store 2000 in T0, this one 10 in T1, this one performs the multiplication, and this one right here uh, has the product or the result of, the multipl of this multiplication uh, in this register. So this one is moving the product to S0. So now the product is in S0. So now what I want to do is just display the value to the screen. So as usual, let me write a comment, displays the product to the screen. Okay, so I say load immediate dollar sign v0 and the code is 1 to display to the screen. Um, and then I say add dollar sign a0 because that's the register for the argument uh, that I'm passing in for the value to print and dollar sign 0 dollar sign s0. So now I'm telling the system I want to print out an integer to the screen. The integer that I want to print out is stored in a zero, which is the product. And finally, do it. 
and now let's see if, it, if this is working. So save it, go to run, assemble, and execute. Click this button right here. Voila! You can see right here, 20,000. Let me see, 20,000. So now you can see the difference between the last instruction that I showed you and this new instruction. Malt only takes two registers and they can be bigger. Uh, the, the maximum size of both registers, uh, registers at the same time is 32 bits. And if, they're that, if, if the size is that, then they're going to be stored in low and high. In this case, the result was only stored in low. So I just move from low and I store the value in a zero. This is the product. And then I just printed that value out. So uh, you can also use move, move from high, and you can say dollar sign as one. But because um, we don't need to do it here because um, the value, the, the product was not too big, so we don't have to do it in this case. But now you you have more power to do multiplication. Now you know how it works. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, uh, I'll teach you another way to do multiplication. So thank you for watching. See you.